Pentech stocks having a good year so far. So far, jumping 78 percent and a firm up 53 percent. But trouble may be lurking as an overleveraged consumer meets the resumption of student loan payments. CNBC's Christina Parsonevelis is here with more. Christina, what's the story on this one? Well, we have the Supreme Court that we thought would rule today on student loans, but they are still waiting. We're expecting it on Tuesday. Borrowers, though, are preparing to resume their payments in September. And that means three years, the three-year pause, on $185 billion worth of student loans needs to be paid back. Back. The overleveraged consumer and student debt has helped lending firms and buy now pay later firms like Affirm, Upstart, like you mentioned, SoFi, all up more than 53% year to date, vastly outpacing the S&P 500. But a lot of Wall Street right now is actually a little cautious, saying much of that debt is already priced into the stock. Compass, for example, has a sell rating on SoFi, saying the student loan pause was already scheduled to end on June 30th. We knew this. It's not new. And then Affirm, seeing total delinquencies actually increase in May after two months of decline. So Mizuho, though, they're still saying this is a strong name and they have a buy. PayPal, though. PayPal earlier this week announced a deal with private equity firm KKR to buy its European buy now, pay later debt. Good news to actually externalize the credit portfolio. Bad news that the company still hasn't named a CFO, a successor, still hasn't named a CEO successor, and is, of course, ex facing increased competition from the likes of, let's say, Apple, for example. And then lastly, you've got payments processor Block. It faces competition from Toast, Pfizer, that's uh, both of those point of sale processors, and you can see that just the stock price comparison there. True is just cut the price target for Block to 80 bucks today from 105. And those are just a few names. I know th I went through a lot. I threw in some fintechs and buy now, pay later. But the ba major overhangs right now is you've got competition in the space and the fact that maybe a lot of this debt is already priced into the stock, hence why you saw that uphill uh, climb. So where's there more room to grow? So, so the student loan forgiveness program was a headwind to this section, to this sector. The fintech arm of it, and now it's now we're getting a headwind because we're worried about delinquencies. So it was supposed to be running off the table, and that was a positive for this right. group. And now we're already moved on to the negative, which is the delinquencies. Which is yeah, we, we, we move quickly. We we move quickly in the yeah in the right. market world. But uh, in terms of delinquencies, I I do think it's a concern. We've talked about this, and we're already seeing it rise. Bank of America put out a note today talking about a 30-day uh, debt for auto loans and credit cards, and we're many Americans are unfortunately falling behind. So we have to factor that in, even though we're spending more. Well, the the debt service uh, ratio for the consumer is at its highest in 17 years now. And, and this doesn't help. So it, I, I think this is kind of the burden that these companies face. I also think the demand for new products and the pent-up demand that was having me buy, you know, 16 things. I won't say what things, by the way. We talked about a few before we came on this block. Um, I think, you know, that's part of it. So far, it gets back to the conversation we were having last last block around Goldman and, and Green Sky. I mean, what is it worth? I think the biggest issue is not... SoFi's fine, I, I, I think, I, but it's not even about that. It's about what are you willing to pay for this company and, and what's the multiple on a lot of these high multiple fintech companies. And that's that's part of what I think is even going on with Goldman. I want to loop Karen back in here because she sort of brought this up earlier with the student loan payment program potentially changing or ending, meaning we have to resume these payments here pretty soon. Karen, what do you make of the space with the buy now, pay later, or these fintech names that may have a ripple effect, any of them investable for you or tradable for you here? No, not really. I mean, I, I think, you know, I kind of agree with Tim here. They've had a really nice run up so uh, off of a low base, so good for them there. But I, I just think that, um, I don't know, anything financially related, if you want to have any credit exposure, which some of them do, some of them don't, but I really just want to be in the big banks. I know Guy will disagree with me, but that's where I think the safest, best risk reward is in the whole financial services space.